Hello, Geminis. Geminis. We got a moon in Gemini. That's right, Geminis. I'm going to give you the questions for the moon in Gemini. This is a general reading, Geminis. Hopefully, you all are having a good day, Geminis. I know you are. I know you're having a good day because you're out there setting intentions and making stuff happen. I'm reading those comments, Geminis. I'm reading the comments that you all are leaving. Thank you for joining me. Thank you for coming back, Geminis. Hopefully you all are not forgetting to set those intentions. You all are out here teaching people how to have fun in this universe. You all are teaching people how to do it the smart way, Geminis, right? So keep up the good work. You know, keep up the good work. A lot of people like love Gemini. I can't even say like. A lot of people love you all because of you all and your ability to not, you know, you love to learn. You are mutable signs. Um, you love to help people. You know, you love to help people to learn, um, Gemini. So, you know, on this channel, there will be no Gemini slander. <laughs> Let's get into it, Gemini. Let's get right into it. Let's get into it, Gemini. Let's go. All right. The energy has already been clear, Gemini. So we're going to see what's in your cards. What's in your reading, Gemini? Let's see what's in your reading. Let's see. Keep the vibrations as high as we possibly can. This is still the year of wealth, right? There's going to be a lot of purging this year. So anything that's connecting you to unhealthy and wounded emotions from generations up to like generational, breaking generational cycles, chains and curses up to wherever you are right now at this present moment. I see you cutting ties with a lot of things. And I use the word cutting in particular because that's sword energy, right? Somebody's like, you know what? I'm not just going along with just everybody's flow this year. I'm not doing that. There it is, discipline. First card out the deck, you're coming out the gate swing. Somebody say, I'm disciplined this year. Here we have the high priestess. Somebody's not going to be stubborn this year. Somebody's like, look, um, I'm getting away from bullying type of energy. This is your card, lover's card. So some kind of um, some kind of partnership in business and or in love is coming across your path. That's going to really help things be a lot easier. But what's going to really help you all is <clears throat> not going along with the flow of people who won't budge, okay? That's going to that's gonna be a game changer for you all because you all are incredibly smart, Geminis. Obviously, you know that. You all are very well-spoken. Um, there's so many different forms of communication, Gemini. And so communicate that to people. It's like, okay, well... If I'm if if we're compromising here, then I need I need some compromising from you. Like I'm not gonna be the one that's gonna be over here like a centipede, you know, like a contortionist. I'm not gonna be just twisting and turning my body to meet whatever, you know. And I'm not getting a whole lot of helping. I'm not getting a whole lot of help. A lot of a whole lot of you know uh, commonality here, right? So I feel like you may have been judged in the past by how you're breaking generational cycles, chains, and curses. But that's what see this is what I was talking about right here. I was talking about this this um, planet right here, Pluto, right? So Pluto is the planet, this is the judgment card. Pluto is a generational planet. And that's what I was talking about, purging. Somebody is purging away all of this. I got to go along with the flow because my family went along with the flow with such and such. Somebody is definitely breaking some kind of traditions. Somebody's breaking tra curses, chains, and, and, um, and certain things that, you know, like, uh, you know, somebody is delivering themselves from other people's judgment you know, of you, therefore you being, so you're not judge, harshly judging other people, right? So here we have the eight of cups here. Here we also have the uh, six of wands. I'm definitely seeing victory here, you know, for you as you continue to move forward. And I definitely see you moving on from some kind of disappointment, you know, finally saying, hey, you know what? I was born to inspire. This is the sword energy right here. Um, I was born to inspire. I'm learning how to discipline myself when I'm in spaces, whether it's a workspace or personal, let me just say personal, professional life. When I'm in spaces where I feel like energies are not budging, then that's when as disappointed as I may be, guess what I'm about to do? Hop on the back of my horse or in my car, somebody could drive a Mustang, but uh, in your car and say, I'm out deuces. You're not disrupting my peace. Because you clear on how many gifts and talents you have. And you know, guess what? I have a lot of cups to drink from. I have a lot of gifts and talents. My head and heart are not at war with each other. I know exactly. I'm breaking generational cycles, chains, and curses. I'm flushing all of that out and I'm moving forward. Hopefully that makes sense to you all. Hopefully it makes sense. Let's see what kind of generational cycles, chains, and curses somebody may be bringing, breaking, right? Generational cycles, chains, and curses. I definitely feel like somebody's breaking cycles, chains, and curses. Um... Let me see. It's already coming to me. I just want to see what's in what's coming out in the cards. Yeah. 
when it comes to um, letting people disrupt your rest. I, I definitely see somebody saying, I'm not letting something disrupt my rest anymore, right? I'm getting focused, right? I feel like somebody may have come from a background where people were actually, I mean, um, uh, easily distracted, you know? And so you you just have a different way of being easily distracted, like because you're thinkers, you're very cerebral science. So your mind, when you feel like, okay, well, I just want to, I want to get away from something. Let me study something. Let me go read a book. Let me go study something. Let me take a new class. And so it's like, no, I need you to physically get up and get away from them. Right? So here we have Knight of Swords. So somebody is definitely taking some pages out of some other people's books and like learning how to stay focused and not staying in situations where you feel like, um, it is, is like I said, it's, it's two situations in particular. Somebody saying, I'm moving on from that. I, I'm moving on from that, whether it's a job and a love situation, because we got the, this is a partnership. This lover's card is about partnerships, right? And so it could be partnership in business and or partnership in love that's trying to come in, but something, two situations concerning your head and heart being at war with each other. That's why you have this three of swords here, four and knight of swords here. And, and you got to release those and close out this cycle of judgment. Like, People may have harshly judged you, but sources say it's not going to help you to judge it. It's just more or less saying, okay, let me just go ahead and close out cycles and move forward. Let me close out cycles and go ahead and move forward, right? And I definitely see you um, back in the saddle again, moving forward. There's some energies that want to reach out to you. Here we go again. Here we have five, five of wands, but here we go. Five and six is 11. 11 means get off the fence of any ideas you have about going backwards and step into your light for real. You inspire a lot of people. You need to get a source of saying, discipline yourself and getting away from predatory energies. The reason why some energies that have harshly judged you, the source got you away from those energies, want to, they want to warm up to you because they want to find out like this bait and switch kind of energy. Oh, okay. They, they, uh, they moved on from something. I wonder what they thinking, what kind of ideas they got going on in their mind. Don't even worry about it. They've already burned a bridge. And so source is saying, don't, what, what you got going on in your brain is of no, should be of no concern to them. But see, like I said, well, expect some energies to try to warm up to you and to reach out to you, Gemini. The number should be blocked. Cause, cause what are we talking about? You already harshly judged me. What, what we, what we saying? What was saying? <laughs> what, what, what are you, what were you talking about? You already hardly, oh, no, mm -mm. I'm good. I'm good. I'm real good. Right. So that's what I'm seeing for you. Um, here we also have the page of pentacles. New money is coming across your path. Here we have the knight of pentacles, the seven of pentacles, the 10 of cups. I see somebody in a harmonious relationship. You and your person sitting on a rainbow happy as I don't know. That's what I'm trying to tell somebody like it's two for two, two types of situations that you moved on disappointingly moved on. And it was from some people's judgment of you and sources saying, Hey, look, it's harvest time for you. It's harvest time. Here we have the eight and nine of pentacles. First of all, it's going to start out with some new money. That's what's going to first start off. It's going to start off with some new money, Gemini. That's first and foremost, right? That's why I was going to first start off with some new money. Uh, let me see. Hold on. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Get clear about all these gifts and talents that you have because somebody needs to be in spaces where people are pouring into your cup, fresh water and adding, let me just say it this way, adding to your creativity, adding to your healthy range of emotion. You don't need, you don't want any more codependent relationships. My success depends on this job. No, you got at least eight gifts and talents. That's just one income. You know what I'm saying? Gemini, my, I, my happiness depends on this person that I'm friends with, or my joy depends on, no joy is within sight. So sources saying, learn how to tap in because you have a lot of streams of income in you and source had to, uh, source had to move somebody away from some um, harsh situations so that you can tap into your gifts. That's what it was really all about. That's what, that's why. And he was, he was starting off with some money. That's why um, we have eight, um, seven. So it, yeah, it's going gonna, it's gonna to come back. For, so you'll have one stream of income. Income could be anything where you're not really necessarily pouring out, right? So it can mean like somebody else's, uh, you know, you get a, a check in the mail for something. Or it could be like um, you get such a major discount. Looks like it's a, uh, 
let's say you uh, a, a bill that's normally fifty dollars a month or whatever. Um, some uh, the the company because all and it's not even by coincidence. Like the company could say, "Oh, we found out where you overpaid a couple of years ago, and we were just settling out books and find out that you got two hundred dollars credit. So now you got four months paid in advance. It's like that, right? So this is where the creativity comes in, or somebody else could be paying a bill for you, or whatever it is. But source is saying it's not necessarily coming out of your pocket; it's coming to you. And however it comes to you, you know, this is where you want to stay in a posture of gratitude and discipline yourself. Yourself, like really discipline yourself, right? Because um, the discipline first is going to come in the form of some energies are going to try to reach back out to you. That's how it's going to come out first. They're going to try to they're going to try to reach back out to you. Um, hey, you know that kind of you know the the bedroom voice. The hey, you know. So whoever, whatever it is, business partnership. Because like I said, partnership in business and or in love. It could be two business partnerships. It could to be it could be two it could be two types of things. We talking about something that something that some kind of partnership you were in where you you move on disappointingly from something. Yeah. Seven of Swords. See, this is what Source kept telling somebody to move on from something. See, here's the thing. This is going to be because because this is where the discipline comes in. Source kept telling somebody like, if you stay in these situations, you're going to end up being hurt. Source kept telling somebody, if you stay here, you're going to end up being hurt. And so somebody, something had to happen. And Source kept saying, now it's time for you to leave it behind. Here's the Moon card. Here's the Moon card. So here's the Justice card right here. Um, here is the, um, queen of wands right here. And so source is saying something's going to make you feel happy, charismatic, and free. But the next time source tells somebody to move on from something and somebody's at war with each other, like you know, you got this internal warfare going on. So it's to say, uh-uh, that won't happen. You're going to have to discipline yourself because sometimes people are looking for, okay, I need, I need another sign. Okay. That's what prayer is for because source is about to make somebody booked and busy, not burdened at all. So when we see queen of wands, I see you being happy, charismatic, and free, but it was two situations in particular that kept baiting and switching on you. You, you know what I mean by that Gemini? So for the, and I know a lot of you all know what it is, but it was like, it's like, um, and I mentioned this on another uh, video, but it's like um, it, it's like um, you telling your job, hey, um, you know, after a self-assessment and they tell you, oh, well, we don't feel like you justify for a raise. You're like, oh, OK, well, here's my letter of resignation. They so shocked that you gave them a letter of resignation. Now they want to come with a counter offer where it was no offer on the table to begin with. They thought you were just going to accept, oh, well, you can't get a raise. All right. Well, here's a, here's my letter of resignation. Oh, oh, oh I, we, we found all of a sudden you found money from somewhere, right? Sources saying, stand on what you said. I found another job. I'm not here to play these games anymore because see source told somebody move, go, move on from two types of situations. And somebody was just sitting there kind of waiting like, uh, well, I, I'm not, you know, kind of stuck being stubborn. That's what this card being stubborn, like waiting for some kind of blow towards situation to happen. Now, I, now I'm mad. Now I got to move. I'm, I'm, I'm mad. Right. I gotta, I gotta be in some kind of new partnership. So I definitely feel like new creative ideas through prayer and through meditation and obviously through your power and intellect. That's how somebody's uh, multiple streams of income is going to start. So congratulations to you. However, it came across Gemini, congratulations to you. So sometimes it takes a couple of, um, you know, sometimes it takes some motivation from source, you know, to say, Hey, come on out, you know, get out of your comfort zone. I need you to, I need you to start really believing in yourself. You got all these great ideas that, so yeah, stone circle. So in ceremony, you conjure a devotion so deeply. It reflects that worship into yourself. Yep. It reflects a worship into yourself. Yep. So, yep. So here we go. I bring positive energy into my life. That's it. So let's keep trying to tell somebody, look, Gemini's, you all keep going along with the flow of people's negative energy for what? Y'all too smart for that. And people know that, but all people also know that you all are mutable signs. So mutable signs are highly adaptable. When you start feeling indecisive and like, oh, if they say one more thing, I'm going to say something else. Well, I'm so angry and I, I start thinking about it. Remember my air signs, y'all are cerebral, right? You're always thinking about something. Source is saying, when you start thinking real negative thoughts about something, this is the seven of swords about other people outside of yourself. It's actually exposing 
that's when source is saying, okay, now you're getting angry with yourself because you know source told you to move on from two types of situations and you still got your, your sword stake in the ground, right? Still like let, giving your power and your authority to two types of situations. We're talking about, I know they got some secrets. They know, I know I'm, I'm going to wait till the secret is exposed. No, the secret was exposed in you that you're not listening to your intuition. Worthiness. That's what source is trying to tell somebody, know your worth and add tax. Know your worth and add tax. Because if you got to start, if you got to step down off of your throne of thinking, I'm talking about my air signs in particular. If you got to step down off of your throne of thinking, Gemini, and you waiting for something to happen like a blowtorch situation, but I'm telling you, some energies are nervous now. Here we have delusion. So intention without surrender can be a fast path to delusion. Mm -hmm. Remember we talk about this is the uh, waxing crescent moon phase and the moon is in Gemini or at least it's moving into Gemini, right? So waxing crescent moon phase, actually, actually we're in the first quarter moon phase, but it's a waxing crescent moon, right? Uh, waxing crescent moon phase is about, waxing crescent moon is about setting intentions but, and then the first quarter moon is about taking action towards that. So you can continue to land on the bright side, Gemini. So this is where you sit down and say, okay, I intend on being more disciplined. If I feel like I'm in spaces where i an injustice has been done to me and people are harshly judging me, like I'm not smart enough or they playing me for a fool or whatever. I'm not going to just sit there and wait for something to happen. The source is telling me to move. I got generational cycles, chains and curses to break, right? I'm not going to just stay in unhealthy um, uh, partnerships and business and or in love when sources saying, Hey, leave that behind. I'm leaving behind fear, shame, embarrassment, addictions. I'm leaving behind all of that. Would somebody secret somebody know about me? I'm leaving all of that behind. Let people that. So that's what I'm saying for you. People, you know, are trying to hold you back with, I mean, hold you, you know, with some kind of secrets that they feel like they know about you. Hey, listen, they visiting a house you don't live in anymore. So here we have number two. I am diplomatic. Remember the number two is the number for peace, right? If they're not adding to your peace, guess what they're doing? Taking away. There's no gray area there. You have great talent um, for finding solutions. Your intuitive and unbiased nature allow you to see all sides of any situation and advise others towards the most fair and beneficial outcome. Number two. Yeah, it's two for two. You're leaving two types of situations behind and you're stepping into two big blessings. That's going to, this will be like a, like a, um, domino effect of more blessings. You got, you got eight gifts and talents that can create eight streams of income. So it's going to start off. Like I said, first of all, it comes in like somebody where you're at the portal between going from one phase, uh, a cycle to the next phase of a cycle Every single day, like, so as the moon waxes and wanes, Gemini, between zodiac signs, right? That's when you get a chance to send out messages to the universe and then be in receiving mode. How do you feel? Everyone in, the, in half to two days, every zodiac sign is ruled by a planet or a luminary, right? So you're saying, okay, when the moon moves into Gemini, which is your sign, right? So you're a communicator, right? So what kind of messages am I, is my spirit sending out to the universe, do I send out the message that I'm indecisive, that I have no discipline, that I'm stubborn and I'm going to go back to allowing other energies to judge me? Like, is that the message that my spirit sends out to the universe, right? Or does my spirit send out to the universe that if I get a phone call, text message or whatever from energies that have burned me, I'm, a, I, oh, that's right. I forgot to block the number. That's the message too, right? So again, like I said before, I, um, or, or do I send out indecisiveness, you know, uh, pick up a phone call and start arguing with somebody because it's a bait and switch here. Something is a bait and switch. There's nothing to talk about. They either said that you judge them or, or they either said that you judge them or you felt like they judged you. Sources so say to you, if you see their name pop up in a follow and you accidentally follow, unfollow, <laughs> Because again, you're sending out a message like they not slow, you know, I'm not following you. I, it's, I don't, I don't want any connections whatsoever. Cause I, I've sat down, I prayed about it. So it shows me some stuff and you can think I'm judging you all day long, but I don't, I listen, nah, what, whatever is between me and source is between me and source. Right? So let's go with your narrative. Somebody apologizes for betraying you. Of course they do. Of course some people apologize for betraying you because you didn't betray them. So, I mean, hey, I mean, hey, they, like I said, 
as far as you're concerned, you're not holding any grudges towards anybody. You're trying to make room for this harvest. So, you, so that's all. That's the frequency that you're on. That that's the frequency that you're on. You're not holding any grudges with anybody. Now, you, as a matter of fact, you're not holding any space for it whatsoever, Gemini, because, um, yeah, you're not holding any space for for whatever. You know, if if people if people betrayed you, they actually betrayed themselves. I mean, if you really look at, it, they really betrayed themselves. Because guess what? Your heart is in the right place. They actually betrayed themselves. So it could be a divine. It could be a divine feminine sign in um in woman body or it can be a divine feminine sign in a man's body so that could be um cancer pisces scorpio it can be virgo uh capricorn or um um virgo capricorn or taurus you know it doesn't even really matter it, it really really doesn't matter but source is saying you're leaving some stuff behind you're leaving some stuff behind some energies are now feeling like you know um or it can also, like I said, uh, it could be on the cusp of those signs. Like, so it can be a fire sign. We just had a lot of fire energy out here too. To, uh, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. It doesn't really matter who it is. If energies are trying to warm back up to you, it, trust me, it's only the bait and switch. They're trying to find out where your head set, like where your mind is. And your mind is outside of your universe. You're not opening up the door. It's nothing else to talk about. You're not holding grudges. You're not holding space. So yeah, so that's where that's the frequency I see that you're on. So all I can say is kudos and congratulations to you, Gemini, for real. Because once you've been betrayed, if you open up that door to be betrayed again, I don't even know what to tell you. I, I mean, y'all the y'all the smart sign. So you 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 know, if you you that smart, you won't open at that door again. You'll discipline yourself. It's a lot of people that's thinking about some stuff right now. It's some people that's thinking about some stuff right now. They just want to talk to you to kind of get in your head. But look, you better put a manhole cover over the past because you got some good news right here. See these cups right here? Spilled over. You got some good news coming across your path. Get yourself mentally prepared for that and get as far away from certain types of energies. Here we also have the page of wands. You're going to feel like a teenager again. You got an additional stream of income. I'm trying to tell somebody, like, it's all good when you move forward. Don't even entertain. Because, again, some energies are trying to soothe their own ego. That's all it is, Gemini. But you're not going to play a role in soothing somebody's ego at all. Just move on. There it is. King of Pentacles. Wealthiest card in the deck. Soothing whose ego? Mm -mm. You're good. That's what I have for you. I will see you all in the next video. Here are the questions for the moon in Gemini. I'm sure I don't have to tell you all Gemini by now, but when the moon is in Gemini, of course, we're not talking about any Geminis in particular, but we're talking about the moon in Gemini, right? This is the portal the universe gave us for flipping the switch and changing our life in an instant. And that's all of us, right? So I think you all, obviously, if you're Gemini, the best sign to teach everybody how to kind of sort of flip the switch and really have a more playful life, you know, those kind of things, learning how to adapt, right? The first question is, do you feel there's an area of your of your life in need of radical change? Your work, your relationship, your well-being, your home life. The second question is, what's getting in the way of you changing your story? The third question is, how could you inject more childlike curiosity into your life? And then fourth is, who are the five people you could get in touch with who could help you on your journey, right? Five people could be five authors of books, five podcasts, five YouTube channels. It could be five friends. If you have five friends, five family members, you feel like you can toss and bounce some ideas off of and they won't harshly judge your ideas. Whoever it is, I feel like moving forward, this is what you're moving towards, an enormous amount of wealth. So, you know, let, let source do what source is doing in your life, but don't go backwards. That's what I have for you and I'll see you uh, in the next video. Bye.